doesn't have a zoom or anything. Hey YouTube, it's uh, Case from Amazing Calgary Comics, and I'm here with uh, one of my buddies. Uh, that go we always go on the comic book runs every Wednesday. It is Bobbert Boy Wonder Thriller. Uh, it's kind of a split uh, YouTube channel. You'll see him quite a bit. Um, and uh, yeah, he brought some of uh, his favorite books from his collection here that he's proud of today. And I uh, just wanted to show them to you guys before we show you some of the uh, haul that we pulled um, on today's new comic book day. All right, go for it, man. What do you got? All right, here today I have Walking Dead 101 Ghost Variant. Um, I think it was the ghost, first Ghost Variant that was released. First Ghost Variant released um, yeah. for Walking Dead there. They did uh, kind of a black exploitation kind of shaft um, 70s uh, cover for uh, The Walking Dead uh, 101. Yeah, definitely one of my favorite covers because uh, of because of that 70s look, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, Good one. Definitely ha going to have to get this uh, CG seed eventually. Don't don't want it uh, out of package for too long. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that, that's my one of my favorites right there. And for you, for you guys that don't know, the uh, ghost variants are a very rare variant that are only found in select stores across North America. Uh, if you really want to look at uh, at getting some of the ghost variant copies, um, check out uh, eBay or my comic shop. Uh, they don't stick to just one series. So The Walking Dead's only had one ghost variant. Uh, they go all over. Um, random Image Comics will get them, and uh, so far Saga's had one. Um, I just about all these kind of nice indie books have gotten e them. So. E East of West number one. East of West did have one, yep. Wow. Uh, 12 Reasons to Die. Uh, that there's was been a, a few different ones. That was ones. a nice badass cover there. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So uh, what do you have next, man? Uh, I have uh, my favorite here, uh, the uh, Frank Miller uh, Wolverine comics. I, I have all four sitting here, but uh, mm -hmm. this, uh, this one's definitely my favorite. Uh, nicest, nicest cover I think out of out of all of them. And you got you got these at the 2013 Calgary Comic Expo. I remember you getting them. Yep, uh, you got, got a very good deal for the four of them, yep. hundred bucks all together. And these are in at least very fine uh, plus condition. Uh, there's only like one or two little stress cracks on the spine, and that's it. Aside from that, yep. Beautiful copies all together. That's from our friends, uh, what was it, Citadel Comics? Citadel Comics, yeah. And our shop there that we always went to. So yeah, Definitely uh, gave us quite a few deals on uh, on different comics. Yeah, on really good books. Yeah. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 121, 122, Tomb of Dracula 1, uh, Your Wolverines, um, uh, some image. You uh, even got prints. Bedlam number one there? Yep, yeah. yep. I got uh, Nowhere Men number one first print. So we had some. We got some really good books from Citadel Comics at the uh, 2013 Comic Expo, and I know for a fact they'll be there in 2014. So, um, so that's your number one. Show them your uh, oh, number yeah. there, two and uh, three as well. There. It's, there's one. Yeah, and these are very classic Frank Miller books. I'm sure you guys have all seen them before. They're they're absolutely amazing covers. There's uh, two, there's three, and I actually, I think four is my favorite. He's lighting up a smoke there wait, 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 with <laughs> the crossbow. crossbow. It's badass. I yeah, love that cover. Yeah, that, that's another one of my favorite covers right there, but uh, yeah, that uh, that number one, especially because it's Wolverine's first uh, first series by himself. So. Yeah, I like it too, and what makes me laugh is they went with... Uh, these kind of steel fist cuffs kind of thing for the blades in the first covers, but they don't show up in any of the other covers. <laughs> so it makes me laugh, but I really, really like the way that Frank Miller kind of brought out the beast in Wolverine in those ones. So, yep. uh, and the last one you brought for us today, one of my favorite image comics for sure. Saga number one. First signed print. by Fiona Staples. Yeah, we met her. Uh, we met her at the Co Calgary Comic Expo, and then again at uh, what was the comics comic store? Uh, Al Alpha Comics. Alpha and... Comics here in Calgary. Yeah, yeah, she was down there, and and uh, Rob actually almost got his ass kicked by uh, by, Fiona by, Staples' by her boyfriend, boyfriend. <laughs> because yeah. of me. I asked her to sign my book very inappropriately. Um, but anyways, and it was he did it for me. It was hilarious. She said no, but still signed my book politely, so I was really happy about that. But 
Just, just, just for you, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> that was ridiculous. But uh, Rob, thanks for for bringing those in, man. Those are some great books. You bet, man. Um, so today, guys, we went to another dimension comics and just picked up our regular uh, pull list off of the shelves. Uh, nothing overly special. Some image books, uh, Lazarus, uh, some DC books. We got uh, Superman and Chain, the new one. Uh, Batman, Superman team up. Um, just a couple of new books um, all together. Yeah, I'm um, collecting that uh, Wolverine Max. Yeah, Wolverine yeah. Max. Got another one of those. Yeah, so just regular pull books, guys. There wasn't a whole lot on our lists today that we had to pull, just three or four yeah, books. Yeah, there's a few that were pushed back to later dates. Yeah, so we'll which has been happening a lot lately. Later. Yeah, um, but we did check out uh, two other stores. Uh, my favorite, uh, my set, like tied for my favorite would be words and pictures uh, we love the guys over there every time they have really cool books they pull them out to show us and I end up spending way too much money so thanks yep. guys um, but they take really good care of us uh, so first I want to go through what I picked up at uh, words and pictures and then I will show you what I picked up at the other store now some of these books you're not gonna recognize um, which is really cool uh, there are a bunch of Jack Kirby number one books uh, that I got at a great price and I know for a fact that Words and Pictures here in Calgary still has some of the issues so if you really want them go and check them out. Um, but the first book is uh, The Eternals number one. Um, this is a Jack Kirby number one book that did all the artwork and uh, the story for it. Uh, really really cool books. Uh, the reason I was drawn to these is because they are scarce to find. You won't uh, find a whole lot of number ones especially in this condition. Um, they did get a huge um, collection in today, uh, or in this last week, and a whole bunch of number ones, a whole bunch of comics that uh, were kind of hard to find. The guy that brought them in had five or six of each copy, and uh, I was really excited to get that. So that's the Eternals number one uh, first issue. Um, this is one of my favorite books um, from that time as well, um, and this is Freedom Fighters number one. Uh, with the most ridiculous superhero, Uncle Sam, I think it's hilarious, <laughs> but um, if you guys can see it there, I hope there's no glare, but again, another very scarce um, number one book that you don't see around a lot, so I really did decide just to jump on that and, and pick it up, uh, but uh, yeah, and the last one, this is the first uh, and last appearance of this character, um, like it came out in this book and really wasn't reintroduced until a couple years ago. And this is Atlas, uh, number one uh, as well. So these are all in fantastic, uh, amazing condition. I was super happy to find them. And uh, yeah, they had a bunch of other weird uh, number ones from that time frame as well, but I really liked those books, uh, so I went with those. Um, now these ones I got specifically for the cover and for my love of the villain. Um, this first one is Brave and Bold number 111. Uh, it's when Batman and the Joker team up, um, which is, it's an awesome looking book. Uh, the cover is, is beautiful. That's the Joker for me. I grew up on this style of Joker with the creepy, menacing, elongated face. To me, that's what the Joker's supposed to look like, and I wish that they'd get back to that point. Um, I absolutely love the way that he looked in these old books. Um, so yeah, that was a great book to pick up, and this one, for me as a Batman fan, I hate Talia al Ghul. Personally, I think Batman was supposed to end up with Catwoman and stay with Catwoman, and I like the whole Birds of Prey with uh, Batman and Catwoman's daughter. That's the That should have happened. They killed off Damian Wayne because they knew he was stupid. So that, yeah. that's my opinion. Damian Wayne can eat a, eat a D. I don't really care. But for me, I got this because I really like the cover and uh, I like the villain as well. This is Batman uh, Brave and Bold 197. Uh, it's with uh, the Scarecrow and uh, Batman and Catwoman. As you guys can see there, there's a uh, Night of Passion and Fear and all that. And just a cool cover. I really like the, uh, the kind of romantic... Batman and Catwoman cover. Um, thought it was great. Had to pick it up. That's how it should be. How it should be, man. Friggin' Batman fans. Yeah. Damian Wayne's a pain in the ass. And, uh, yeah, getting rid of Tim Drake. Give me a break. Yeah. Um, and we went to Phoenix Comics uh, here in Calgary as well. Uh, the South location, which is the best location, guys. And uh, they had a few new books on the wall. Now this one isn't hard to find, but it's something that I don't have in my collection yet. 
Um, it is one of the very first image books. It's the one that kind of put image on the map. And uh, this is the first print of Spawn number one. Uh, it's in near mint condition easily. Um, the reason this isn't very hard to find, I know image number ones nowadays are like gold, you can't hold on to them, but they had such a high print, uh, print number for print this issue that, yeah. that really it's not hard to find, but it's still an amazing book and uh, I'm really into collecting anti-heroes, whether it be the Punisher, Venom, I uh, just I showed you guys my Deadpool comic in the last one. Um, and Spawn definitely fits the role of anti-hero, um, definitely. So I picked that up today. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it for, for my haul today, aside from my regular pull books. Um, but definitely wanted to share this video with you guys, introduce you to the Boy Wonder himself. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys next week on New Comic Book Day. Yeah, All right, see you guys. later. Bye.